Good evening to you. Welcome in to WKYT News at 530. I'm Amber Philpott. I'm Bill Bryant. We're so glad you're with us tonight. A Garrett County man is facing dozens of charges of animal cruelty. The arrest citation of 64-year-old Dennis Kirkpatrick says there were 62 dogs living in deplorable conditions in his home. WKYT Jessica Umbro talked with a Central Kentucky nonprofit about how cases like these put a strain on already overwhelmed shelters. It's our top story at 5. 30. We need to change things and time has come and this year is the year that it needs to happen. Anita Spreitzer works at Lexington's Paws for the Cause and in her four and a half decades of animal care work, she says large instances of animal cruelty don't get any easier to stomach. You're talking about animals that are, ha have been through a trauma that now have to come down to learn how to be a normal dog in a normal home. It, it's it's a perfect storm and this is what we call it. And it's not only here in Kentucky, it's across the United States. Situations like this one can put a strain on all animal shelters, urban and rural, and some say that more needs to be done in Frankfurt in order to help animals across Kentucky. A dog is considered property like a car or a vehicle here in Kentucky. The individual that owns said animal needs to surrender that animal in order for that animal to be turned into a, an adoptive home and get fixed and everything like that. She says as is with any court case, it can take a while, even multiple years. Just think about holding that many animals in a situation in a shelter for two years until the court case is settled. And for an animal shelter system that is already struggling to keep up with the demand for care, an influx of animals in Garrett County can be hard on all involved. It's devastating for the animals, it's devastating for the people, and it's devastating for the county. In Garrett County, Jessica Umbro, WKYT. Garrett County Sheriff Willie Skeen says Kirkpatrick is likely to face additional charges on top of the 63 he is already facing. The animal shelter also has its own Amazon wish list for donations that they are in need of. You can find a link to that on WKYT.com.